everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. We are just in the last few weeks of our spring semester before it is time for summer. Who else is excited? I definitely am. I'm so, so excited for summer. It's going to be a great one. I've got a ton of books lined up and ready to read and review, and I'm really excited to share those with you. I've got some really excited dogs today. Um, so today, I cannot wait to share this book with you. So I was really, really lucky and very, very grateful to have had this book sent to me earlier, um, about a month ago. And I was one of those people that I had not read the series yet. And the series had, be on, had been on my TBR for like two or three years, however long it's been out. And I've had the first book of this series sitting on my nightstand forever. I even met the author at my first TLA. I think it was my first TLA. And I was super, super excited to meet her. I've heard so much about this series. It is amazing. So a few weeks ago, I was sent a book. Um, and it was the third book in this series. And it is awesome. So the series is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And today I'm here to share with you the amazing, amazing ending to the series. This is Finale by Stephanie Garber. It is the third book in the Caraval series. So if you have not read the Caraval series and you're a slacker like I was, this is Flamingo, in case anyone needs to know that. Um, so if you have not read Caraval, it is really, really magical. It is beautiful. Stephanie Garber's world building is phenomenal. So Carval, the first book, is about these two sisters, Scarlett and Tella. Scarlett is very reserved. She, she's very much about protecting herself and those that she cares about, especially her sister. Their dad is this evil person who really only cares about how, um, marrying them off and how much money he can get for them. So Scarlett is the older one, and Scarlett's very timid. She's very reserved, like I said. Tella is wild. Tella wants to do everything and experience everything and go everywhere. And Tella is just everywhere. She's a complete opposite of Scarlet. And in the first book, Scarlet's big thing is she wants to go to Carval. She wants to get from Carval. And it starts with her writing letters to Master Legend. And Legend is the man who runs Carval. And the thing is about him, no one knows who Legend is. Is. So I could be having a conversation with you and you could be legend and I wouldn't know that it's you because he can change the way he looks. He can change who he is. He can change everything. Every He controls illusions. And so he can put you in this world where you don't know what's going on. And everybody keeps saying it's just a game. Remember everything that happens is just a game. If you die in the game, it's okay. You'll come back at the end of the game. Um, but some people get driven to madness because it's just a game, but you don't know what's real and what's not. So in the first book, Tella um, is kidnapped and Scarlet has to find her in the game. And so at the end of every carval, the person who wins gets a wish. And Scarlet's wish is something that is very near and dear to her. And so you have to read it and find out how that one goes. The second book, um, Legend, takes place exactly after finish after car the first Carval finishes. And Legend is told from the point of view of Tella. So the first one was Scarlet, the second one's Tella. And I felt way more into the second book because I think it's because I identify more with Scarlet, but I want to be more like Tella. Anyway, it was great. The second one is so the first one is where we're looking for Tella, and the second one, Tella, is looking for their mother. And we learn that the girl's mother left them when they were little with their evil father, who would abuse them um, and use them against each other, and just it, he wasn't, he was awful. Um, so the second one, they Tella wants to find their mother, because she does not believe that her mother just left them for no reason. She knows that her mother loved them, and there had to be a good reason for her leaving. So... We find out what happens to her mother, their mother, in the second book. And we also find out who Legend is. And my dogs need attention. And we find out Legend's secret. And if you are reading the series, it is someone that we know. So freaking good. I loved Legendary. It was fantastic. I finished it and I was like, oh, oh, what do I do now? Thankfully... I had Finale. Now, get down. Now, Finale took me a while to finish because it is so in-depth. Finale is, like, if Caraval is 
here. Like you're getting the surface of what Caraval is and all the magic behind it and story behind it and everything. You're just getting this much. Legendary puts you like here where you kind of know what's going on. You get a little bit of backstory. And then in finale, you get way in depth. Like you learn everything. You know how and why and where and who and what is really going on. And so now that we know who legend actually is, you meet, not you meet, but you kind of get to know him, who he is, what he stands for and what he's afraid of. And so we learned that legend is an immortal and the immortals are people obviously who don't die and they live forever. But what can make them become mortal again is if they love, because if they love someone, then it makes them human again and then they can be killed and they can die. Makes sense, right? So in finale, Tella only, when this one is really cool because it goes back and forth between the two sisters. So Carval is Scarlet, Legendary is Tella, Finale is both of them. So if you haven't read Carval or Legendary, just stop listening and watching now because there's going to be a lot of spoilers. Because if you're not, if you're watching this, you should have read the first two. But um, yeah, also this book comes out on this Tuesday, May 7th. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So if you have not read it and you have read Carval and Legendary, please stop watching now because there's going to be some spoilers and I don't want to ruin it for you. But it was freaking amazing. The wait will be worth it for everybody involved. Um, if you were at Y'all West this weekend, I wasn't, but I watched and lived vicariously through Instagram. Um, they were selling finished copies of Finale early, which is awesome. I'm super excited for those people. I can't wait for everyone to read it. Anyway. If you haven't read, or if you have not gotten to read Finale yet, if you have read Carval and Legendary, again, stop watching now. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Anyway, okay, so here we go. Finale picks up, again, right where Legendary finishes. Um, and it's really cool because it starts with some letters, and we hear about their mother and their mother paradise we find has a lot more to do with what we know has been going on so her mother trapped all of the fates and all of the immortals into this deck of destiny these cards and trapped them all um and she did that because she doesn't want obviously she doesn't want the fates to rule the world because they're evil and well you know who wants that but legend has to decide if he is going to save tella or get all of his powers back because we know up to now he's only had 50% of his powers, which is amazing. Um, and so now he's going to come into full power. So the biggest thing in Finale is the fates become free and they get out of the deck of destiny and the fallen star who's like the person who made the fates is this horrible, awful person who does horrible, awful things. And he, we find out that one of our dear sisters is his daughter and he wants to use her so that he can get what he's always wanted and take over the empire and rule everyone and make humans his playthings. Sounds great, right? Um, and so Paradise wanted to trap them in there and keep them away and keep them away from humans and just in general trap them. And then they get loose. And so Finale's big like plot is that the sisters and Julian and legend have to get the fates back in their cards and trap them again, or just get rid of the fallen star um, and kill him, which sounds totally doable, right? Except that he's immortal because he's a fate and he like is the hardest thing to kill ever. It was amazing. It is probably the best adventure I've read in a long time. Up until yesterday, I was about here through the book and then yesterday I literally read this entire half and yeah my bookmark is still partially here because I read it on my kindle too because I'm spoiled and I also got the arc on NetGalley and read it on my kindle because sometimes carrying a book is not as easy as just carrying my kindle around anyway so it was it was rough I was reading it at the gym and I was screaming because there were parts where I was like Oh my god, how can this happen? How did she do that? Oh my god. Um, but Stephanie Garber definitely killed, definitely killed it with this book. It was amazing. There was at one point where I was reading it and it was where Scarlet is just trapped and you think there's no way she's going to get out of this. Like there's no way it's never going to be better for her. Everything is just going to go to crap basically and no one's ever going to be free again and you know everyone's going to be trapped with the fates and it's just awful and legend and julian are screwed and scarlet is screwed and tella is screwed right 
and I remember thinking that and then thinking like, how did we even get here? Like the first book is about Carval and how everything's a game, right? And finding Tella and that's it. And this one, I think the biggest theme in it is that love really can conquer everything and love really can help you solve everything. And I really love that. And I think it's really corny, right? To say that love conquers all um, and that love is always, sorry, I'm petting my dog down here. I'm not just like making weird arm motions. Um, but it is really corny to say that love conquers all and with love, anything can happen. But it's really true in this book. Love really does conquer all and love really does come through in the end. And it was just really cool to see that happen in a book where I thought everything was just going downhill because it was, it wasn't going to work out for everybody. And Stephanie did an amazing, amazing job with pulling everything back together. Um, and I have to say I was about halfway Sorry, the dog's lost it for a minute. Anyway, so there was um, a point where I thought there's no way that this can come together and there's no way that all of this is going to fix everything. Um, and so I read to the end and I read the last page because I needed to know what was going to happen, that everything was going to be okay. And when I read the last page, I was like, how is that even going to happen? And so I knew what was going to happen in the end and I'm reading it, knowing what's going on at this point. Like, Gabriel, the fallen star, is just, no. He's an awful, terrible person. And knowing how the ending is going to come into play, like it was just awesome to watch how, and read how Stephanie pulled everything together and everybody got this awesome ending that I was really, really happy for. Um, I was very pleased with it. It was awesome. This is definitely going to be in one of my top five series that I've ever read. So um, this Tuesday, May 7th, finale comes out. It's fantastic. If you haven't read the series, you've got Monday and Tuesday to read Carval and Legendary and then read Finale because it was so good. It, and it's beautiful. I can't wait to see this um, in full finished, finished copy because just this arc alone was gorgeous. Thank you to Sarah Barley to sending it to me early because it was amazing. Definitely one of the better rides of my life as far as books go. Um, and yeah, so this week we also have um, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff's new book, Aurora Rising, coming out on Tuesday as well. And I may or may not be stalking Jay Kristoff when he comes to Dallas this week. So Jay Kristoff, if you're watching this, I'm going to be there on, on Thursday in Irving, and I'm super duper excited to meet you. Also, um, if you have not read Illuminae, that's an awesome series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and you should definitely read that. And also, Nevernight series is amazing, and that is why I'm going to meet Jay Kristoff. I'm super duper excited. Anyway, so that was finale. Um, sorry, I couldn't give you any real spoilers, but it is amazing and it is worth the ride. And I hope that everybody reads it and everybody enjoys it. So yeah, we got three weeks till summer, everybody. We can make it. Have a great rest of your year. Bye.